Insert the injector through the primary incision. With the tip of the injector just past mid-pupil, slowly advance the device. As the device is deploying, be sure the lateral feet are fully separated before full advancement into the eye. I like to suggest staying right about here with the injector as you finish releasing the device to ensure each lateral foot is placed under the iris. At this point, you're going to release the device and remove the injector. With a Dimatrix Williamson manipulator, you're going to go back through the primary incision. You're going to grab the shoulder of the device, lift up, and tuck it under the iris. This makes a near circular 6.75 millimeter pupil. No scrolls to pinch, very gentle on the iris. The primary technique for removing the X1 is by guiding the device out with a manipulator through the primary incision. Taking your manipulator, disengage the distal foot first, lifting up and out. Next, disengage the lateral foot. Notice the rotation of the manipulator mid-pupil to help grab the last lateral foot. Lastly, disengage the proximal foot, ensuring all points of the device are disengaged. Use the manipulator to hook the device underneath and guide it through the incision site. The secondary technique for removing the X1 is with the use of the injector and secondary instrument. With the use of the manipulator, you're going to start by disengaging the distal foot first, grabbing the shoulder of the device, lifting up and out. Next, disengage both lateral feet, lifting up and out. Notice that the manipulator is rotated about mid-pupil to help grab the opposite foot. Lastly, lift up on the proximal foot, ensuring all points of the device have been disengaged. Reinsert the injector. Once inserted, advance the plunger to engage and grab the device, using a secondary instrument to help guide the X1 back into the injector. Be sure to leave the injector inside the eye until it is fully retracted into the cannula, then remove the injector. One of the unique features of the X1 is its ability to safely capture and stabilize both iris and capsule. This technique is called iris capsule capture. For iris capsule capture, you want your capsule rexis greater than or equal to a 4.5. Here you see the device has already been placed on the iris. Taking your manipulator, start by grabbing the shoulder of the device on the quadrant where you are seeing the issue, whether it be loose or missing zonules or pseudo X. Simply grab the device at the shoulder, lift up, and tuck under the capsule. Capturing capsule and iris can be done on any or all quadrants. When removing the device in its state of iris capsule capture, Simply once again, disengage the distal foot by grabbing the shoulder, lifting up and off the iris and capsule. Repeat the same technique with both lateral feet. Disengage the proximal, and your choice is to either guide the device through the incision or with the use of the injector.